Hello and welcome to Physics 2 Experiment 9, Physical Optics, where we will be studying two phenomena associated with the wave nature of light, interference and diffraction. You will need the following equipment, the single slit component, the diffraction plate, the diffraction grating, the viewing screen, the diffraction scale, the old component holder, a standard component holder, as well as a 2 meter stick. Now for procedure A. With the laser placed on the optics bench, we will place the single slit component on the old component holder. We will then place this on the optics bench relatively close to the laser. Next, we will attach the viewing screen onto a standard component holder and put this at the end of the optics bench. We are now ready to turn on the laser. We want the laser to pass through the slit labeled B on our component. We may need to rotate either the component or the laser itself to ensure this happens. Once we have the laser shining through the correct slit, we should see a pattern emerge on the viewing screen. We will now use the viewing screen to measure the width of the central bright band. You may need to adjust the position of the viewing screen to ensure that the full bright band is measured on the viewing screen. Now for procedure B. Before we do anything else, we want to ensure that the laser is turned off. We will then take off the single slit and the old component holder and replace it with the diffraction plate with a standard component holder. For this procedure, we need a length of 3 meters between the slit and the screen. To do this, we will use the 1 meter of the optics bench plus a 2 meter stick. With everything set up, now we can measure the distance between the center, left, and right bright bands. It's easier to prop up a piece of paper and mark it on the sheet and then measure it at your table. Now for procedure C. For procedure C, we will replace the diffraction plate with the diffraction grating. Next, we will place the ray table base onto the track and use this to prop up our diffraction scale. We want the middle laser to go through the center marking of the diffraction scale. Now that we have everything set up, we will slide the diffraction scale closer to the grating until we see three lasers on the scale. We will now use the diffraction scale to measure the distance from the center dot to either the left or the right dot. Once we have this recorded, we will slide the diffraction scale even closer and repeat this measurement. This will go on until we have filled out the data sheet. Now that we have all the data, we will use the equations provided in the lab manual to finish our experiment. That is all, thank you for watching, and as always, feel free to refer to this video whenever necessary. 